A lot of people consider this Buick's work as um, one of the ways that really broadened this interest in natural history. One of the more unusual aspects of the museum's art collection is a series of engraved wooden blocks by this British artist, Thomas Buick, who worked from the late 1700s and the early 1800s. He apparently was um, a terrible student. <laughs> he, he, he was often um, uh, playing hooky and would run off and spend the day um, in the woods watching birds. He is famous for illustrating a series of books on British birds and animals using a technique called wood engraving, which he more or less invented. Over his lifetime, Buick produced hundreds and hundreds of these wooden blocks, and they're actually carved out of this incredibly hard boxwood. That's a small tree that grows in England, and rather than uh, unlike a woodcut that would use a soft piece of, say, pine and cut on a plank, these were cut on the end grain. And so Buick could make this incredible fine engraving engraved lines onto the, uh, onto the block. And, and everything that was raised on the surface would be printed black. Everything that was carved away would, would uh, remain white. And so um, the museum got 14 of these blocks donated. And they're amazing, but they're very hard to see and very hard to appreciate. And so one of the things that we did do is we published, we actually, you can still print from these boxwood blocks. They have, despite the fact that they've been printed hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of times, the wood is so hard that they can still be printed. And then we would display the blocks themselves in position with the print. You almost need a magnifying glass to see the detail on this. This is an example of, of one of his books. Some of the uh, most affordable books on natural history that people could purchase. And the reason is, is that these blocks were at the same height, carved the same height as the type that would be printed. So they could be printed along with the type in the book rather than printed separately in some other technique and then having to be added to the book. So they actually made these illustrations much cheaper to produce for the book rather than just producing these very expensive books for the wealthy. This is a kind of book that the average person could purchase to study the bird life of, uh, of the British Isles. People consider this Buick's work as um, one of the ways that really broadened this interest in natural history. You also would create little vignettes that illustrated English country life at that time period. A lot of people consider them some of the uh, most important illustrations of what English country life was just before the Industrial Revolution. He had a great sense of humor. And so, for example, here, he shows a kid riding on the back of a boar that's chasing a dog. You know, it gives you this miniature window into this, this life that he knew growing up in the English countryside. <laughs>